what's all this? Sam's here and... Is that Molly? In the daylight? I must be hallucinating. <sighs> okay, yes, I know I've been working a lot, but this is my first solo trial and I have to be ready. I'm so proud of you. I really, I remember, oh, my first trial, how excited I was. I worked for days, for weeks. And I will have that enthusiasm again about something else when I, when I find the right fit. You know, I feel that rush when a case starts to come together. Maybe you will learn to love it as much as I do. Whoa, wait, you're going to be a PI? You and Sam are going to be working together? We're thinking about it. Could be interesting. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Actually, we were just looking over a missing persons case. Todd Worth's daughter. Actually, it's more of an estrangement than a missing person. Todd Worth. Todd Worth, why do I know that name? Because he's the CFO of DNA Shipping Partners. Were you aware? Yeah, so? His company was responsible for the big oil spill in the Arctic. DNA Shipping Partners have a horrible environmental record. I am kind of surprised you took him on as a client. I'm working for Worth, not DNA Shipping Partners. Right, but what if he's using you to find the whistleblower, claiming that she's his daughter, so you'll find her? Do you think that I haven't vetted my client to make sure that the daughter was real? Mom, I know how to do my job. Hmm, three minutes. Longer than I thought. Sam, I want you to know that I think you are such a competent and such a responsible PI. It, in what you do, it's just so necessary and important. You know, Mom, you don't have to placate me. I know that I'm good at my job, and I like what I'm doing. You're terrific at your job. Not just good, terrific. I'm oversensitive. I, I just don't want you to wind up like me, ending up making the wrong choice thinking you're doing the right thing. What are you saying, Mom? I just don't trust my judgment right now. That's all. I lost my law license over Neil. What was I thinking, right? So, you know, I get self-destructive when things get normal. Normal isn't normal to me. Well, do you think that you're the same person that you were when that happened? I've been through a lot, so probably no. So chances are you wouldn't make the same mistakes, right? I mean, if a small child can learn not to touch a hot stove after burning themselves once or twice, I would think that your life lessons could impart some wisdom. One would think. No matter what, I will never be as wise as my soon-to-be victorious in court daughter. <gasps> you are such a show-off. What? <laughs> Me? Yes, you <laughs>